Excuse me while my hair dries. <laughs> it's a little bit wet. Hello. Is anyone here? I'm coming on extremely late because I've had a whole lot of shit to do this morning. And the live didn't take precedence, I'm sorry. What's going on, guys? Tonya's here. Crow Tarot's here. I haven't seen you for a while, darling. But 1967's here. DMCT73. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm coming on so late. Campbell's here. Excited to see you live. Oh, really? What's going on, darling? Yeah, I finally got on here. Yes. What's happening, guys? Just sold some more clothing racks. I'm slowly getting rid of all the shit in my house. I can't wait to move to this new house and have it less cluttered. I moved so much shit to this house, unknowingly really realising how much stuff I moved. I want an uncluttered house. Oh, my God. Janet and I have the same birthdays and our SPs have the same name. Oh, really? That's so fucking weird. Really, darling? That's crazy. Boss, I had two birds for land yesterday and today. Ooh. How's the store coming? The store's gone. Everything in the store sold, bar about 15 pairs of shoes and about 10 items of clothing, and I'm just getting rid of the racks. So someone just came in and bought two racks. Someone bought two racks yesterday. The mannequin. People are buying hangers and shit. I'm just getting rid of it all. <laughs> and I want to get rid of bookshelves and old crap of my mum's. Like, I just don't want to clutter my new, nice, clean, beachy house with a whole lot of old shit. <laughs> get rid of it all. My SP asked me yesterday to give him some more time. Why? Why? Are you pressuring him? Are you asking him where it's going? Why would someone say that, darling, unless you're pressuring them or asking them questions about what am I to you? Where is this going? Were you doing that? Fuck and stop that. Live in your mind that you're together and then you don't need to ask and you don't need to pressure. Okay? Stop doing that. Are you still going to continue to the store when you move to the new house? No, fuck no. This, this TikTok's taken over my life, darling. I'm not doing the store anymore. It's just this. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> and I need the time to do the courses and shit. I got a free gift certificate to a spa today after affirming free stuff. I saw that, Pamela. I saw that in the Powerful as Fuck Challenge. That's amazing. I was a little disturbed by the fact that you could have a nose and ear waxing. <laughs> ear waxing? <laughs> he literally just said it. Oh, okay. Well then, if you just said it out of the blue... Okay, then it's fears coming out of your brain, out of his mouth. Okay, he doesn't want me. Maybe he doesn't. He's not as committed to me as I am to him. Maybe he doesn't like me as much as I like him. What fearful thoughts were you having before he said that? That's why they say it. You've got to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Uh, I didn't ask him anything. All right, well, it's just your thinking then. That's what I do for a living is selling clothes and other items. Oh, really, darling? Well, the girl who just came to buy the racks, she sells at markets. And she was like, where should I buy things from? And then I was like, go to this place and this place. She's like, oh, I didn't know they did that. And then another girl who came and bought a lot of my clothes the other day has written to me on Instagram and said, do you mind telling me where you buy your stuff from? Because your stuff was so good. Because <laughs> I used to get all the designer stuff. I had my secrets, my trade secrets. But I thought, I'll tell this girl. Okay. You've helped me a lot. I'm going to be ripped by November from obese in May. Oh, wonderful, darling. Well, don't call yourself obese. Just say, I'm going to be ripped by November. I am ripped. My body is ripped. My body is getting ripped by the day. Say that, darling. My abs are so defined. My muscles are so huge. Mm -hmm. So those things, darling. I learned power of assumption today. I was telling a friend how school servers, teachers, are teachers to, school servers, teachers, teachers to death. What? I learned power of assumption today. I was telling a friend how school surveys us teachers to death. Yes. Five minutes later, I literally got a school text saying, staff, complete survey ASAP. <laughs> no. God damn it. That's all the shit I used to hate when I was teaching, all that fucking filling out forms and crap. Oh, God. We never tell where we get our stuff, lol. Awesome, but you shared it with her. Yeah, I will. I I'm going to get back to that girl, but today I was telling the girl the secrets. How do you get them to unblock me? Stop saying you're blocked. Stop affirming you're blocked in your mind. Start seeing yourself as unblocked. Start having a visualization of them unblocking you. 
Start saying they're constantly contacting you, darling, and then you can't be blocked. He keeps saying, we are friends, and he's just my ex. Oh, I've got to affirm more. You've got to work on your self-concept, darling, that's allowing you to friend zone yourself. That's what you've got to do. Thanks, Ashley, for the roses. Some debt. I said, no problem. What's this? Um, he came back, he came back, and out of the blue, he was asking me to give him some time until he pays some debt. I said, no problem. Okay, so do you have a belief that he's got a financial problem or stuff going on with his life that's going to stop you from being together? That's why. Um, I think my SP muted me, replies after several hours and stopped initiating, used to contact lots. All right, so stop contacting them for a start, okay, and live in the end in your mind that you're together and stop fucking incessantly contacting them like a needy bitch. You're sending out needy energy if you're doing that. Someone's muting you guys. It's because you're doing too much in the 3D. Fucking stop everything you're doing and start living in the end in your mind that you're together rather than doing shit. Got it? Hey, Icy. Yesterday I jumped onto my game and straight away I had five guys wanting my attention, including SP. Oh, love it, darling. Old chap, we're British today, apparently. Oh, hi, Brody. Eh. Uh, been applying what you've been sharing and have been seeing results. It's awesome. Oh, wonderful divine manifestation 111. That's great, darling. Um, hang on. I'm going down. What's your opinion on listening to affirmations on loop at night? Look, we did a, a challenge of this in the group, in the Facebook group, guys. If you want to join the Facebook group, we've got another challenge on at the moment, the Powerful as Fuck Challenge, the Test Yourself and See challenge so you don't have to doubt yourself because you know how powerful you are but we did do that now the the results were mixed but most people said it had an effect other people said just gave the nightmares they couldn't sleep that's what happened to me however i don't know if it helped my self-concept maybe it did but i don't think i did it steadily enough i think i turned like threw my pillow over it at night some nights i didn't i accidentally didn't loop it and just listened to it once by accident so i don't think i was a very good guinea pig but other people in the group really had a good effect with it however I will say it needs to be your core self-concept shit. It can't just be general affirmation videos on TikTok or um, very general shit like Dylan James if you've got real core childhood stuff you want to get over. Can you do this on TikTok? I don't have Facebook. Can I do what on TikTok? What are you talking about? Can you do a challenge on TikTok? What do you mean, darling? Look, the lives aren't saved on TikTok. I can't save them. I can only save them into the Facebook group. I can't save these big long videos. It's not possible. What do you mean? And I can't form a group either. <laughs> but I will soon be um, starting a YouTube and all these lives will be saved in there too if you don't have Facebook, guys. So probably give me a month. Hi, Loz. You're amazing. And I've missed you. Oh, darling. Thank you. Thanks, Izzy. Have never been on a date with SP. Just hang out at each other's houses. Affirmations for this. Stop friend zoning yourself. Stop seeing yourself as a friend. Start saying, he has feelings for me. He doesn't understand. He's constantly fantasizing sexually about me. He can't stop thinking about me. I'm all he thinks about. I'm on his mind 24-7. I'm his girl. Start saying that. Can you start a podcast? I always miss your lives. Yes, I will start a podcast, guys. This is why I'm not doing the shop anymore because this is taking over life. I need to do the YouTube channel, a podcast, the courses. The affirmation tapes, the affirmation videos. <laughs> I've got so much shit to do. How do you get rid of negative thoughts? You've got to affirm against them with new positive thoughts, darling. That's all you can do. Can't get rid of them. They won't just disappear. They'll stay there and 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 stay there until you replace them with something new. That's why you do affirmations. Mm -hmm. YouTube channel, yes, thank you so much. This will help. Good. Okay, darling. I'm having doubts and feeling frustrated. Please yell at me. Caitlin, I can't yell at everyone, darling. Are you doing the powerful as fuck challenge? Are you challenging yourself every day to create something in your reality that you yourself created, you yourself manifested so to prove yourself this works? If it works for free coffee, it works with your SP. If it works, if Birds for Land works on old SPs, it works on this SP. You've got to trust me on this. Oh my God, yes, a podcast. The thought of being able to listen to you while I'm driving is amazing. Oh, wonderful, darling. <laughs> How can I make two individuals leave my group of friends? Just start saying they're not there anymore. Oh, isn't it a relief that they left? Oh, my God, I'm glad that bitch is gone. Start imagining a phone conversation with someone, darling. I got a free chicken sandwich today. Oh, powerful as fuck, darling. I love you. You're the best. Oh, Aiden, thank you, darling. What's your opinion on grat gratitude journaling? Oh, it does fuck all, darling. Look, it'll put you in a good mood, but it won't manifest anything. It just puts you in a nice mood. Oh, I feel so great. I'm happy in life. Okay, it makes you feel a bit happier. I did it for like six months once, and it really did put me in a good mood every morning. So if you want to do that because the mood maketh the man, do that. However, it won't help you manifest shit. 
Anyone who says to you, I'm so happy and grateful that my SP is back. No. Here's a good one. I don't spiral, react to negative thoughts and just flip them instead. That's wonderful, Pamela. Wonderful. What's your opinion on scripting? It's great, darling. Just don't script your affirmations. I want you to script the new story, a new version of you, a new version of your SP, the life you want, what you want in five years, that kind of scripting. Not writing down your affirmations verbatim like Bart Simpson. Hi, Lisa. How does psychosis work? I know someone very mentally ill right now. Okay, so stop seeing them as psychotic first. Start saying they're so mentally able to do whatever they want. They're mentally thriving. They've got full control of their thoughts. Their thoughts don't run them. They are so healthy in themselves. They've never felt so good. They're in full control of themselves. Start saying that, darling. Stop seeing them like that. Hi, Nicole, darling. I was given two glasses of wine and called a gorgeous goddess about 10 times throughout the day. Oh, where are you, darling? And where have you been? I haven't seen pages. My SP always says and does the stuff I affirm but doesn't last. He always goes back to his old ways. Well, you've got to stop your brain from thinking of the old thoughts. Maybe you haven't impressed enough the new version in your mind and you still keep having the old version of him popping in your brain or it's just the delayed manifestation of the old him still showing up. He's getting the message, but he's not quite there yet. So be patient. You're a gorgeous goddess queen. Yes, Nicole. Been focusing on self-concept and have a dreamy new neighbour after a date with me. What? Been focusing on self-concept and have a dreamy new neighbour after a date with me. Oh, a dreamy new neighbour. <coughs> dreamy. Molly, shut up. What are you barking at? Jesus Christ, there's no one here just barking their head off. What's this part two I want, but I'm I was still working on it? Where's the first part? I've been doing the whisper technique for four nights and my SP reached out today. Oh! Still not the version I want, but I'm working on it. Keep going, darling. Keep going. Look, a lot of the times I don't turn up as the version you want. Don't worry. Be persistent. Be patient. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Don't do a me and react like, what's happening? Why isn't it going back to the way it used to be? Don't do that. Please. What's your opinion on hypnosis? I've done it. It's wonderful. I haven't done it with affirmations, but I've done it past life hypnosis. But... It's a wonderful tool if you want to use it because it's turning off your monkey mind to allow new things to sink in. If you want to get your hypnotist to do your self-concept affirmations and hypnotize you with that, great idea. I love your crazy aunt vibes. Ah, oh, I'm a crazy aunt, am I? <laughs> what is whisper technique? It's just some bullshit term LOA people talk about, but basically it's this. Sending out your thoughts but doing it like you're whispering in someone's ear. So you change your SP, imagining they're lying next to you in bed and you're going... Imagine you're whispering to them. That's all. Just been working and in court. Oh, have you, darling? Can Birdsville Land be negative 3D interaction with SP after time of no contact? Can Birdsville Land be negative, a negative 3D interaction? Well, it could be a bridge of incidents that you have an interaction, but it's not exactly what you want, but it's still an interaction. Sure. Did Neville talk about the purge? Not really. That's just some bullshit people have made up. Look, there's a lot of stuff people make up and they ascribe it to Neville. It's got nothing to do with him. Like people going, you have to feel feelings. No, you don't. He never said that. I've been visualising old memories with me and SP. We have three years of great memories, so it's nice. Oh, lovely, darling, yes. Mike's called me today because he wants to rekindle our relationship. Oh, wonderful, darling, hooray. Can we see your dog? Oh, she's under the table. She's asleep. <laughs> she's up there. Molly. Hello. Say hello to the people. There she is. <laughs> She's like, why are you disturbing me, bitch? Text SP and he replied, how did you know? I was thinking about you. I texted back because you always are. Oh, I see witches love her. Because <laughs> you always are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how cute. Oh. Um, hang on. Loz, SP told me I'm all he wants. He said no one else matters to him. Hang on. Where's the, where's the rest of this? Loz, Mary, uh, Mary said, Loz, SP told me I'm all he wants. He said no one else matters to him but me, even though I'm nuts. <laughs> so basically, he's just allied all your fears right there about someone else. You're all that matters to him. He doesn't want anyone but you. So be satisfied, Mary, and stop fucking being paranoid about other girls. Please. You've got what you wanted. He's verbalised it. 
be satisfied and stop being paranoid and now concentrate on you and him together, having the lovely life that you want together, okay? Good. That's great news, darling. Even though you're nuts. <laughs> I love that. Lois, so I forgot to tell you, aside from SP, I manifested to pass my second thesis. Oh, what a darling. Congratulations. SP says he loves me but won't pursue a relationship with me. I don't want kids and he does. All right, just start saying he doesn't want kids. Actually, he doesn't want kids. He just wants me. Start whatever you want, darling. Affirm in your mind that they want what you want. He wants what I want. He wants what I want. He wants me and he wants what I want. He will do whatever makes me happy. Okay? doesn't matter what they say. That could be your fear that he wants kids and that's the reason he's not going to choose you. Okay, you could meet someone who's already have ch had children and they might say to you the first date, oh, I don't want any more kids and you want kids. Now, you'll run with that information for the rest of your relationship until one day you blow up at them and say, but I want kids. But because you held the, the belief that they wanted that, people's minds change and you can put that thought in their mind that they do want kids with you. Once they're in love with you, they will. Once he's in love with you, he might want the opposite of what he wants now, which is no kids. He just wants you. But what happens is your self-concept, if it's shitty, will latch onto any reason why you won't be chosen and he'll choose someone else and that will be your reasoning. Oh, he wants kids and I don't, I'm, therefore I'm going to lose him. Well, then you're fucked. If you can't work on your self-concept, allow yourself to believe that he wants you and only you and he'll do anything to make you happy. Got it? Random, but I love how supportive everyone is here. Yes, they are, aren't they, guys? Especially in the Facebook group as well, guys. So please go join it if you haven't already. It's lovely in there. What's your opinion on me making the first move with my SP? Are you female? Okay, you can. Do it from a place of confidence. That's all I'm saying. How can I make the story different between us? Imagine a different story in your mind, darling, and concentrate on that and only focus on that story and do not allow the old story thoughts to creep in in your mind if they do affirm the new story. Um, SP and I spoke. He said to each other, said he isn't sure if it's a good idea. We were together five years. SP and I spoke, he said to see each other, said he isn't sure if it's a good idea, we were together five years. Okay, so that's your old fears out of his mouth, maybe it's not a good idea for us to see each other, we were together so long, maybe friendship isn't even good, maybe we shouldn't even spend time together. Okay, I want you to start saying he loves spending time with me, he's my man, he can't see his life with anybody but me, he loves me as his girl, okay? What are you drinking, just coffee, darling? I was strutting down the campus seeing my SP in front of me and listening to my bad bitch playlist. Oh, wonderful, darling. Don't say you can't because you can. Exactly. I created a third party because of past trauma. Now I can't get rid of her. Yes, you can. Okay, I know third parties can seem difficult and they're right there in your 3D, plaguing your brain. But I want you to start saying, he doesn't want anybody but me. Well, I created this bitch. I'm going to uncreate her. I'm going to make her fucking disappear. I made her appear. I'm going to make her disappear. Okay, and just concentrate on you and them together, you and your SP, and forget about the bitch. Put her completely out of your mind. Well, if you're female, darling, why can't you trust that they're going to make the first move? That comes from a place of fear. I have to make the first move because he's not going to do it. Or go from complete confidence and do it and know that the outcome is going to be what you want. But if you go and do it and initiate and it's not the outcome you want, then you're going to regret it, aren't you? So it's up to you guys if you're going to do that. I'm not saying don't call them. I'm not saying don't text them first. I'm not saying don't initiate. But what I'm saying is when you do it, you have to come from a complete place of confidence that the outcome you're going to get is what you want. And if it isn't, you'll be able to cope and you're not going to spiral and undo all your manifestation work. That's the only time you should do it, when you just know that you can handle whatever happens. Even better, if you can manifest what's going to happen and you're confident in that outcome. Got it? Can you explain inner conversations in relationship to SP? Not sure what it is. I'm still learning. Look, inner conversations with yourself is you're a piece of shit. God, you're an idiot. What did you do that for? God, you fuck everything up all the time. Oh, God, things never work out for you. He's never coming back. That's a conversation you have with yourself. Your brain is having thoughts with you all day. You're not your thoughts. There's you, then there's your thoughts. Your inner conversations all day are your brain telling you things, having conversations with you. And then you might say things like, fuck off, brain. That's you talking. So it's the same thing, but with your SP, you love me, don't you? You can't stop thinking about me. And you can imagine his or her voice saying, no, baby, I only want you. Of course I only want you. I can't stop thinking about you all day. I masturbate about you furiously at work all day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Love you. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Secret is LOA, not law of assumption. What is this? Oh, the secret. Yeah, gold. Um, I'm having so much trouble affirming against the old story. It keeps creeping back. I know, guys, it can. It's a motherfucker. You've just got to keep at it. 
Um, hang on. I'm manifesting an affordable place to rent. How to affirm against how expensive rent is around here. Okay, just imagine you get the place you want at the price you want. My new place is four blocks away from my brother's place. It's a very similar layout. It's a lot older inside and I'm paying $250 less a week than him. And I have the same view as him, except I'm actually closer to the beach. And he came to my house. He was like, oh my God, I pay 250 bucks more than you. How did you get this? And he goes, this manifestation shit's crazy. <laughs> That's what he said when he came in. And he saw my free dishwasher I found on the side of the road that works as well. Right? Just imagine you get the house you want at the price you want. You have, I love, I just start affirming. I love my new rental. It's exactly the price I wanted to pay. I got it so cheaply. I love my new house. Start saying that over and over and over again and one will just appear. Trust me. Mine did. Um, I've got to go soon, guys. I've got a gazillion things to do. I manifested five from people re reaching out to me all by just feeling good about myself. Wonderful, darling. That's on point self-concept right there. Do you think it's important to let go? No, that's complete bullshit, darling. I don't think it's important to do anything of the sort. In fact, I don't tell anybody to do that. Absolute bullshit. I don't teach that stuff, darling. Please go to my Facebook group because you're lost from the LOA letting go world. Watch all these lives back. Wow, okay, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. I had a really rough day, but I kept affirming for the reality I want. Your live is what I needed. Good, darling, good. Hang on, guys. Do you think it's, oh, no, I don't teach letting go, darling. Uh, I also don't answer the same question 50 times. Please don't post it 50 times. What affirmations for relationship abandonment issues? No one would dare to leave me. I'm too important to lose. I'm too special to lose. Once you've loved me, you need me. You can't be without me. Things like that, darling. Um, let go of your doubts, worries, fears. Trust this works. Look at your life. You created it. Exactly, Brittany. That's the only thing you let go of, guys. Your doubts, your fears, the old story. That's all you should let go of. Your desire, no. Your SP, no. What you want, no. That's complete crap. Where are you letting it go to? The universe. That's just air. It's not going to do shit for you. Your affirmation strategies always work. Good, darling. Tell everyone that and tell yourself that. <laughs> My manifestations always work. My affirmation strategies always work. Do you think it's good to script out the life we want? Yes, and hold it dominant in your, he your head. That's exactly what I want you to do. Hold your life as dominant in your brain as what you want. This is the life I'm getting and I'm not taking anything less. I'm only focusing on what I want dominantly. Absolutely, and script it if you need to. Loz, why do old triggers creep back in? Because your brain thinks that's you. It established you by the age of seven. It doesn't like veering from the script. It thinks that is you and it doesn't want, oh, thanks, Myrna for the rose. It doesn't want to think anything different. It's established you. This is your character. This is your personality. This is you, Mary. And then when you start trying to change it, it doesn't like it. Okay? It's like a like you're in Top Gun in a plane and you found a target. You've got a missile and it goes da -da 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 and zooms in on the missile. Beep, 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 and then suddenly something happens where another flight fighter jet goes in your path and you oh you lose the missile, but it will go back every time. It's like a homing pigeon. Da -da 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 it wants to stay on target. That's what your subconscious does all the time, guys, and that's why the old story can seem so hard to find. That's why triggers keep coming up. That's why people come on my lives and did calls with me and got their SPs back and then fucking lost them because the old triggers crept back in because your brain is like the plane in Top Gun and it will always go back to the target every fucking time. It's called, what's that called, that system? It's like a system where it literally hones in and it will just lock in on the target and will not veer from it. doesn't matter how many other flighter jets get in your way, you will still find that target again. Got it? Is anyone understanding what I'm talking about? Has anyone seen Top Gun? <laughs> when I was a kid, I think I saw it a hundred times because my brother was obsessed with it. <laughs> missile system. Yes! A something missile system. I can't remember. There's a name. Uh... No, I'm not doing the calls anymore, guys. Sorry. I'm in the middle of moving house. I've got to sell a whole lot of stuff before I move. I've got to create the courses and the YouTube channel and the podcast. The calls are not happening. The birds for land have been intense today, saying my SP affirmations back to me. Oh, they know. Love it when they repeat your affirmations. Nothing better. Me too. What's this, Shell? What's Zena saying? 
Lois, I keep arguing in my mind while trying to affirm her back. Look, guys, that's your subconscious. That's the old story. I do that all fucking day. I'll lie in bed and I'll have a great story going on. And next minute, no. Blah, blah, blah. It's a motherfucker, guys. That's why I say to you, just saying, I'm a queen. I'm a manifestation master. It does fucking nothing. Okay? This is true, Loz. Live because she hasn't yelled once. Is she okay? <laughs> is this a true Loz live because she hasn't yelled once? Is she okay? <laughs> well, Mary, you are giving me good news. I normally yell at you sometimes. Ha <laughs> ha ah, ha ha. Look, I, I don't have the energy today, to be completely honest. I woke up in the middle of the night, couldn't go back to sleep, went down a TikTok rabbit hole. Big mistake! Never do that. It's coming. Somebody has to say something at one stage. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can have some non-yelly lives. Actually, um, Manifesting with Kimberly mentioned me on her live the other day, and I went and watched it last night, and I fell asleep watching it, actually. And she started saying, when Loz yells, she makes me seem like a cupcake. <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> I must do a live with her. She's so funny. She called me out in a in my I'm her favorite. I knew it. <laughs> I yell at you a lot, Mary. Loz, I just came back from SP's house. He was more affectionate today, and we had meaningful meaningful combos. Oh, wonderful, darling. That's so wonderful. Love your energy. It's always lovely. But lately, you've had this sparkle to you. Hey, bye. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's crazy. What? Yo, Loz yells when least expected, not on command. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm spontaneous like that. Ugh. So I can manifest anything I want, no limit whatsoever, even if it's to change someone else's mind. Well, changing someone else's mind is the easy part, darling, but turning yourself into a six-foot-tall NBA basketball player who's male might be a bit difficult. Or going to space like that might be difficult, or being an alien like that might be a bit more difficult. Changing someone's mind is piss easy. <laughs> Just start thinking they think the thoughts you want them to think. Kim's live. So much fun. Love the community over there too. Oh! I've only joined two. One, Dylan James came on and someone was, you guys were mentioning me, so I thought I'd better say hello. And I only came in halfway through. And then that one the other night, I wasn't actually on the actual live live because I was going live here, you said. And she was talking about me, so I went over there and watched it and uh, missed most of it. Do you like England? I used to live there, darling, for 14 years. I am British. Love it. I've been in vain affirming, feeling supported, and still had a story. Consciously, affirmations have changed things a lot. What? I've been in vain affirming, feeling supported, and still had a story. Conscious affirmations have changed things a lot. Oh, good, Miriam, good. When Kim and I go shopping, I'll take a picture of us together to send to you. Wish you could join in. Ah, oh, really? When you meet up with her. Oh, wonderful. Love it. Yes, Brody, I saw that. What, what did you see? Have you seen the new trailer about the Williams sisters' careers? The father pretty much manifested. Yes, he manifested their careers and Andre Agassi's dad manifested his career, as did Britney's mum manifested her career as well, I think. But, um, but Andre Agassi's dad, when Andre Agassi was a baby, stuck tennis paddles on his hands and put a tennis ball in the cot. That's how much he was making him be a tennis player. And Serena Williams and Venus Williams' dad was very similar, as was Beyonce's dad. Just was like, no, this is what you're going to do. No, you're going to be a pop star. No. And just manifested their careers. Thank God the Venus, the Williams sisters like their career. Thank God Beyonce likes her career. Andre Agassi never did. He fucking hated it. Hated tennis. Yes. But there's a lot of parents who will manifest their children's careers because they're living vicariously through the fucking kids. Absolutely. Oh, my God, you're so lucky. What are we talking about? About seeing... About seeing um, Kimberly, I really struggle with writing messages and limited words on TikTok lives. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. Hi, Loz. How do you live in the end more? Last night's events made me react. Don't worry, darling. Just go back to it in your mind. Just revise whatever happened that you reacted to. Just live in your, in your mind as much as you can. Stop looking at the 3D so much. I have birds for land in my life. He's really nice. Still working on the SP and mostly self-concept. Oh, wonderful, Shell. Can't wait to hear more. What did you see, Brody? Oh, about the Williams sisters. It's a trailer. Oh, it's an actual documentary about them. They're, they're masterful, like, at getting what they want. Like, she's won every fucking everything. And they're, they're, their self-concept is so on point. So on point. I really should do a self-concept 
um, video about Serena Williams, shouldn't I? Because she thinks she can do anything. Um, affirming feels like lying sometimes. What am I missing? You're not understanding that you're already affirming, darling. You're not understanding that your thoughts that you currently have are affirmations. I'm not good enough. Things don't work out for me. He's never coming back. Affirmation. You don't realize that the cre creation in front of you, your reality in front of you, you created. What part of this aren't you getting? Go to the Facebook group. Watch all the lives back from the last one backwards, from 220 backwards, and all the Facebook lives, and you'll get this, that you created everything. So what are you doubting? And why do you think affirmations feel not real? You're already affirming all fucking day. Just the shit you don't want. Now you got to affirm the shit you do want. Yes, yeah, self-concept videos, please. I will. I will do William's Sisters. I'll do The Rock. I'll do Anna Schwarzenegger. I'll do J-Lo. I'll do Princess Diana. I'll do Meghan Markle. I might do Prince Harry as well because he's fascinating. Chris Jenner. Oh, she'd be a great one, Chris Jenner. Absolutely. Her... Apparently, motto in life is, if you hear the word no, you're asking the wrong person. She just always gets what she wants. And she's told her kids that, no. If you hear the word no, you hear, you're asking the wrong person. Keep asking. Keep going. Keep going. She always gets what she wants. These will be so good. Yes, I need time to record them. I might do them today, actually. I just need to research a bit more about the background. Like, I was watching a bit on J-Lo the other day and getting her background. I forgot how many times she's been cheated on, like, even Ben Affleck cheated on her the first time. I forgot about that. I forgot why they split up. I thought it was just because of um, media coverage and everything. It was actually because he cheated. I was like, fuck, she's been cheated on by everyone except Chris Judd. She just didn't give a shit about Chris Judd. <laughs> Poor Chris Judd. Can't get a break. Does anyone watch Teffy? Teffy on here. Hello, Teffy. She just fucking cracks me up. She was talking about J-Lo the other day. Judge Judy. Oh, Judge Judy. She'd be a good one. She's amazing. I mean, she manifested a whole career later in life. She's amazing. Oprah would be a good one. And I've got to do ones with people with bad self-concept, like Amy Winehouse. Um, who else got really poor, piss-poor self-concept? Um, trying to think. How can J-Lo be cheated on? She always does affirmations. Yes, but she does affirmations about herself being beautiful. She does affirmations about her career. But she does she do affirmations about... People are faithful to her. I'd love to know the story of her parents to know if her dad cheated on her mum. I suspect he did. I think she has a very... Oh, Marilyn Monroe, definitely. Taylor Swift would be a good one. Yes. Halle Berry. Oh, poor self-concept. Yes. Halle Berry, poor. Marilyn Monroe, very poor. Taylor Swift, yeah. Chloe Kardashian's. Oh, I know. Well, her self-concept is, is a dichotomy, isn't it? Because she's got really good self-concept about herself and career and stuff. And then with men, it's just shit. But in other ways, she doesn't about her appearance and stuff. Mm. Can you do Selena Gomez? When she started out in Disney, they said she couldn't carry a show on her own. Oh, did they? Hallie Bieber's self-concept is incredible. She gets everything in the end, yeah. But does she get treated well by Justin? I don't know. I think he constantly is pushing her away. Yeah, I think he's still in love with Selena and he doesn't love Hayley. That's, my, that's what I think when you look at the videos. I don't think he even likes her. <laughs> That's my suspicion when I watch their videos together. Have you seen their lives when she'll go to hug him or he'll go like this? That were me. And that was my SP. I'd be like, and I'm out. Lindsay Lohan. Oh, she's an interesting one. These child stars, they're very interesting ones, aren't they? The Lindsay Lohans, the Britney Spears. Britney Spears would be an excellent one to do because she's still in childhood mode. She's been mollycoddled her whole life and ruled and controlled, not mollycoddled, but controlled her entire life and treated like a child her entire fucking life. So has she got the self-concept of like a teenager? But she's struggling not to? Fascinating. She's fascinating. The Britney saga is interesting. I, I feel so fucking sorry for her. So sad for her. She's not got one person on her side except that lawyer. And I don't know if I can even trust the boyfriend. I'd love to trust that boyfriend. I just part of me that just doesn't trust any of that inner circle I just think they're all corrupt and horrible like how can anyone use someone that much it's like Marilyn Monroe like when someone's weak and vulnerable and 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 able to be manipulated the stories about Marilyn before her death was so horrific because I used to just love Marilyn Monroe the way they treated her was so bad that like she was almost like essayed um before her death by multiple men at the resort she was at right like just treated like trash and you think what mm. yeah i don't trust him at all yeah the boyfriend i don't know i mean there's something that came out the other day that he 
was being paid by the conservatorship, but actually it was a doctored document. It's not real. He isn't being paid by the conservatorship. So, oh, yes, Jennifer Aniston and Angelina. Yes. Oh, yes, those two. Oh, I forgot about Jen. Yeah, I said, jo I said Jennifer Aniston, didn't I? Because her concept with men is terrible. What do you think about shadow work? It's not necessary, darling. You don't need to think you've got some dark shadow. You just need to work on your shitty childhood beliefs. That's part of shadow work, but the stuff about having a dark side is absolutely correct. The boyfriend is in it for the game. Well, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Shirley Temple suffered. Oh, uh, Shirley Temple suffered terribly as a child by child producers and men in Hollywood. Yes, I know. Even you know another good one would be. Um, oh, I can't think of a name. The the gymnast who just pulled out Simone Biles. Is that her name? Excellent self concept, but also essayed by her coach and various people. Assaulted. Judy Garland. Oh, no. Like, these people who were just, like, controlled by others and given drugs and, oh, fuck, yeah, God. I'm so grateful for our little community. Here is drama free. There is so much nonsense on TikTok lately. Is there? What's the nonsense? What happened? <laughs> I don't see it. All I see is Britney Spears videos. <laughs> Honestly, guys. If you saw my For You page, you'd be like, does Loz need help? Or oh, all she must watch is Britney Spears, Royal Family, Harry and Meghan, and Kardashians. <laughs> and crazy cat videos. And occasional skincare stuff. <laughs> Female rappers have amazing self-concept. Yes, Nicki Minaj would be great to do. Cardi B would be interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to start doing this series about self-concept of celebrities. Michael Jackson. Oh, God. Oh, Elizabeth Taylor. Horrible. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, Christ. Corey Feldman, oh, he was essayed, assaulted, wasn't he? Lucille Ball, oh, I think she was controlled by her husband. Demi Lovato went in a consistent downward spiral. Well, yeah, she's very interesting. She was getting twisties, that's why she stepped out. Yeah, well, bless her, because you could die. Like, if you're in the air and you're not focusing on where you're going to land, as she said, she could die. She's doing such huge leaps in the air. If you land wrong, you break your neck. You're dead. Like, I can't believe people have been so hard on her. I'm like, she's not, you know, swimming in a pool. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. I'm missing all these messages. Saw Britney Spears in concert in Las Vegas in 2014. Amazing show. But she looked out of it. Oh, look, she was probably on the fucking Valium by then. They're probably force-feeding her all the fucking meds. Just makes you sad thinking she was doing so much of that under duress just because you could see her kids. Makes you really sad watching that and thinking, oh, was I watching a show that she didn't even want to do? Or she was doing it for her fans because she loves her fans, but deep down she was exhausted and just wanted to see her children. Oh, it's horrible. Just found out he's expecting a child. Feel like I need to move on from him. Any help suggestions? Oh, darling. Okay, look. Oh, Tina Turner getting away from Ike. Well, that's a good one. Um, look, the thing about they've already got a child with someone else, that's something you've got to think, well, can I handle it? Or that you could start affirming that the child isn't his and he finds out it isn't his if you really want to do that. Up to you. Yeah, Amy Winehouse, yeah. I remember I was having a conversation with my dad because I used to live in the same area as her in London. And I had a conversation with him this one particular day about the 27 Club and he said, what's that? I said, well, Kurt Cobain and, you know, all these different people died at 27 and within... 30 minutes, there was a thing on the news, Amy Winehouse, the age of 27, found dead in her home in Camden, and we were already down the road. And we were going to go walk down there and go and have a look, but we were like, that's that's ambulance chasing, that's horrible. But I, j I just had the conversation, it was fucking weird. Um, I manifested my whole career as a lawyer, 16 years, I've never been seen as smart, I just wanted it. Wonderful, darling! Fuck whoever didn't think you were smart. Fuck them. Will Smith, yes, you lived in Camden, yes, I've still got a house there, darling. Been here being beat as we speak. Audrey Hepburn had abandonment issues, did she? That's interesting. I loved her, but I never really knew much about her childhood. Robin Williams, oh yeah. Mm. I mean, some one of those people like Robin Williams or or someone like that who constantly feels like they have to be on show all the time. Apparently he was very shy and quiet when he wasn't on set and wasn't, you know, around people expecting him to be like that. I think Diana had okay self concept, but the Royals destroyed her. But I think she was so young when she met Charles that she was so impressionable that that um, it brought out so much of her crappy self-concept from childhood because you've got to remember her mum abandoned her. 
completely abandoned her and went and lived in another country. She had a stepmom. Her sister dated Charles before she did. Like, there was a whole lot of fucked up stuff that happened before she ended up in there. So, mm. and all the Hollywood actresses had a major backstory. Yeah, look, like, all of the actors I know that are the best actors have some tragedy in their lives. And that sounds awful, but they've got something to relate to. Drew Barrymore, oh, she'd be an interesting one. Her mum was absolutely shit. Between her mum and Jennifer Aniston's mum, I don't know who was worse. Probably Drew Barrymore's, to be honest. Poor Diana, there's a clip of her crying at the airport because she knew Charles was meeting up with Camilla. Oh, I know. And everyone thought she was crying because she was going to miss him, but it was because she realised he just bought, she just bought him cufflinks that said, C, C, Camilla, Charles, and he was wearing them. I'm a fucking jerk. Loz, I just started reading The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. What an amazing book. Oh, I wish I had a copy of it still. Wonderful day. Loz, I'm writing the old story now. I'm releasing it, and it's given me so much peace. Oh, wonderful. Yes, get rid of that shit, darling. I need to do that. I'm not sure if Audrey Hepburn had a great or bad self-concept. I think in the end she was better. Yes. Yes. I must look that up. How to go from friends with benefits to the relationship. Stop seeing yourself as friends with benefits. Stop affirming that you are that darling. Start seeing yourself as a girlfriend. Start thinking he thinks you're the girlfriend. I think he also whispered or said something to her about Camilla before he left. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Am I, are you familiar with Little Edie? No. Don't know that one. There is a great documentary of Anna Nicole Smith on YouTube. Oh, God. Poor Anna Nicole Smith. God, Jesus. She's another one. What's the story with her? She was like trailer trash. Can't remember the childhood story. Was she sexually... Mm, yep, I think she was assaulted. Mm-hmm. It's a great document, yeah. Anna Nicole Smith is fascinating. Because she just reinvented herself completely, didn't she? And the story, like, her son, and, oh, God, the whole thing's just so sad. Grey Gardens, yes. Hang on, guys, I've got to go because I've got a gazillion things to do. What affirmations would you recommend for manifesting my mum a new relationship with someone? Just start saying, she loves her new man. She loves her new relationship. She's so happy that she's found a relationship at this part of her, in this time of her life. She never thought she would. Look how happy she is now. Start seeing her with someone. Start imagining that for her. Start saying, imagining her phone call saying, oh, my God, I've met the man of my dreams. He treats me so beautifully. Mm-hmm. I love popping on TikToks and making it to Loz's lives. Yes, darling, yay. Tonya Harding would be a great one. Her self-concept was so bad. Oh, that movie is so good. What's her name? The Australian actress. She's so good in that. Oh, Michael Hutchins. Oh, yeah. Interesting. God, I've got a, I, there's a gazillion ones I could do, isn't there? Mm-hmm. She wanted to be Marilyn Monroe. She died from drug overdose, but her background is eye-opening. Yeah. And I don't even know, did she want to be Marilyn, or was that like a hef thing that he kind of moulded her into that? I don't know. Hugh Hefner would also be a fascinating one. Loz, I don't know if you read this, but I saw my SP and he couldn't stop staring at me. Oh, it's really, oh, I love it. Oh, Margot Robbie. Yes, that's her name. I love her. I think she's an excellent actor. Um, I also wrote out the old story of my childhood and wrote a story about having a great childhood. Good, Nicole. That's wonderful. Good. Do that. Focus on that. I, Tonya. Yes, it's a great movie. And what's the mum? The mum, the actress is the mum. She's so good in it. Hugh Hefner, one scary man. Yeah, he was gross. The guy who had that movie with Will Smith based on him. He was poor and homeless, ended up, yes, on Wall Street. Um, I haven't watched the movie, but I know what you're talking about. Something of happiness? Johnny Depp, yeah, he'd be fascinating. Teppy just did one on Johnny Depp and Kate Moss, Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder, and Johnny Depp himself, and like how when Winona Ryder split up with him, he was just devastated and cried throughout all the movies, he was, sets he was on. Pursuit of happiness, that's it. Mm-hmm. I still haven't seen it. Yes, he persisted and became a rich Wall Street guy. Yes. Jordan Belfort would actually be an interesting one to do, The Wolf of Wall Street. Because he's on TikTok. Have you seen his TikTok? It's fascinating. He'd be an interesting one. Oh, my God, Johnny Depp's self-concept with his situation with Amber Heard. Well, look, Amber Heard, that whole situation, if you go back to his um, stories about him with Winona and how in love with Winona he was, and she was very young and it was her first relationship and how he was so heartbroken. And then with Kate Moss, that went on for years. And he never really, I don't think, ever found the love of his life again like he had with Winona. And then there was Vanessa Parody and all that. But that Amber Heard thing, apparently he's the most sensitive, lovely guy. Just a lovely, lovely person. She just completely took advantage of him. Amber Heard. 
Nicole Kidman wouldn't think she has good self-concept, but she does uh, her self-concept through the roof. She thinks she's the world's greatest actor and she can't fucking act away out of baby bag. I can't stand her. Can't stand her. <laughs> I can't stand Nicole Kidman. <laughs> I watched it once at school. Yes. All right, guys. I've really got to go. Yes, apparently Johnny Depp is a highly sensitive person. Yeah. And INFP personality. What's that? Inferiority complex. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. All right, guys, I'm pretty good to go. I will start that series. Oh, Keanu Reeves. Yes, he's a great one. He's so philanthropic and always gives his money away and such a nice guy. Yeah, I love Keanu Reeves. I love those movies. What's those movies? Where is the John John Wick? I love those John Wick movies. All right, Brad Pitt's self concept must be interesting. Yes. Mm hmm. Very interesting. All right, guys, really going to go. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. If you don't follow me, follow me. I go live twice daily. Just follow, press the follow button. And also come and join the Facebook group. It's lots of fun in there and very, very supportive. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.